All right, well, the ghost of Marvin Gaye is at it again with a brand new lawsuit against Ed Sheeran. But today I'm going to talk about the last lawsuit against Pharrell and Blurred Lines. So the question we're dealing with here is, are the harmonic structures substantially similar between Got to Give It Up and Blurred Lines? I made a picture here so it's easier to understand. So on top we have the Got to Give It Up chords. Uh, this the red one is the the one chord the blue is the five here's a two here's a six and this is what the harmonic structure looks like if you make it into colors and then on the bottom here we have the blurred lines chords and that's the one chord the five chord the one chord the five chord the one chord all right how do we determine if these two things are similar do they use similar chords uh, sure they use the one and the five, that's shared between them. But, I mean, every song has a one chord, otherwise you're analyzing it wrong. And the five is going to be the second most popular chord. It's got to give it up. It's got, it's got a two in there, and it's got a six in there. I analyzed some other pieces, so let's, let's bring those in. Uh, this is Achy Breaky Heart, which looks a lot more similar to Blurred Lines, I would say. Uh, this one is Born in the USA, which looks surprisingly similar <laughs> to, uh, to Blurred Lines. I've got some other ones down here. This is, this is Giant Steps. Now we're talking some crazy stuff. Now we've got these, this orange, I don't know, we got the flat three, flat six. These are some weird looking chords that are put together and I would call these a novel and protectable way that, you know, these things just, they don't rise up to that level. Here's a uh, knocking on heaven's door. Here's uh, La Bamba. Let's take a look at knocking on heaven's door versus got to give it up. And in this case, we're seeing quite a few good similarities. Certainly the chords, all the same chords, same colors. There's a lot more similarities going on here. And then this is uh, standard 145. This is La Bamba. Again, there's more similarities going on here. But this, 151515, I don't know. It, it seems to me that would be close to like copywriting the concept of walking with your left foot followed by your right foot. You just literally can't make anything simpler than this. Uh, got to give it up uh, goes through nine chords before it repeats. Blurred lines goes through two. That's not similar. Got to give it up has four different chords. Blurred lines has two. So the rate of change is different. The chords are different. The order is different. I can't how are these how do these things be similar how how did that happen how who did actually hang on let me look it up judge milan d smith jr thought that these were uh <laughs> well the wording they use in the court document is actually harmonically compatible are these things harmonically compatible and ma'am whole almost everything's harmonically compatible if you line everything up right I mean, except for maybe the jazz. Uh, how did it happen that Got to Give It Up was found to be substantially similar to Blurred Lines, which is harmonically so simple, I can't, I don't, I'm done, because this is, this is just crazy. They're, there's no, they're, they're not similar. They, they're just, how?